Well, hey guys, that's the airport. Today's the day I go for my unmanned pilot's license. So, hopefully I did enough studying. I don't want to do this again. <laughs> so, wish me luck. Well, getting ready to go in and uh, do my testing and a um, little nervous, <laughs> but I think I've overstudied for this. Shouldn't have a problem. Doesn't seem like that hard of a test. More or less a driver's license for the air. Just uh, relearning how to be able to read all the signs that you've never seen before in your life. <laughs> so. Wish me luck and let's see how this turns out. Well guys, <laughs> I am now a certified part 107 uh, drone pilot. Awesome, it was a hard test. And uh, I did remote pilot 10, or remote pilot 101 and uh, I also did an app online to help me study and uh, there was a lot of questions in there that just wasn't a part of uh, Remote Pilot 101. Some of the questions was um, uh, just so close to the answers. And wow, there's a lot of hard questions. So um, I'm grateful that common sense was the golden rule. Uh, a lot of uh, sectional charts uh, not so much about weather which was good <laughs> um, I was watching the clock just ticking down and I was getting worried I was down to under my last 30 minutes and um, you know a lot of my practice tests were like 45 minutes uh, you do go a lot faster through those but um, double checking rereading really just concentrating on what you're doing is uh, really the most important part and um, uh, a lot of the questions I would actually recommend is more about um, uh, let's see even just more about uh, weather stability stable and unstable air and uh, the difference between showers and showery precipitation was uh, just a couple little off points, you know, the wind blowing uh, around a mountain. <laughs> uh, wow, I'm just glad that uh, I studied for as much as I did, uh, you know, listened to everything I could on YouTube about uh, what I needed to know. And uh, okay, so I don't have to worry about this for two more years. So, hey, and I can actually, uh, do a little bit more with my drones and that's just freaking awesome so uh, if you're worried about doing it you know as long as you're studying it's just like learning about driving it's about learning how to take care of a lot of the things that you just didn't see before you know a lot of the signs that you see on the streets you know we grow up driving around people driving but we just don't grow up watching people fly and learning about all those rules so you have to really retrain yourself and uh, you know, don't be afraid and uh, just get out there and try something new and uh, hey, keep on riding, keep on flying now. 